to my channel my name is Jamie and this is let's talk about it so today I am here with my cabbage patch baby land general hospital hall wow that's a mouthful the baby land general hospital is located in Cleveland Georgia and this year I got to go for my birthday and it was so fun I did vlog it I did get a birth softy you can only get a birth which is the Cabbage Patch Kid birth if you buy a softy from them which I did because I'm not gonna drive all the way to Georgia and not get a softy and I did tape it which is going to be in a vlog coming soon so don't worry about that stay tuned for the birth of JJ so yeah and I got a couple of other things that I always wanted from there too so the first things I'm gonna show you are the bunny bees guys if you don't know what the bunny bees are bunny bees are too little to be bunnies and too big to be bees but they look and act like both they are able to fly by flapping their long soft ears bunny bees soar over the cabbage patch sprinkling magic crystals onto the mother cabbage patches below these magical crystals pollinate mother cabbages and help determine if the cabbage patch kids will be boys or girls also bunny bees very much enjoy being tickled behind the ears and then does it have something in here as an owner of a bona fide xavier roberts bunny bunny bee Raise your right hand and repeat. Thank goodness this critter knows its way around the sky. Because we wouldn't have Cabbage Patch Kids if bunny bees didn't fly. Oh my god! Like, you gotta own a bunny bee if you like Cabbage Patch Kids. And even if you don't like Cabbage Patch Kids, you probably didn't know that they had bunny bees. Now, I think they're adorable. They do come with a little hoop here. And what you do is you get a little piece of fishing wire or a thin string or whatever you call it that you can't really see and you hang them from your ceiling you hang them from your ceiling and they kind of hang above your dolls which is what I'm gonna do with mine they're gonna hang above my cabbage patch kids I've always wanted these this is the newer ones I actually should get a a vintage one now that I'm actually thinking about it and I know people that sell it so I will be buying them one from them actually they're so cute they resemble cabbage patch kids see the face they are sewn if you see and blushed and made there so that's another th cool thing about them everything I have here today is exclusively at uh, you could buy this exclusively there you can buy these two online but they only come from that store but my softy you have to go there and get him exclusively there which is cool and they have the little hands like the cabbage patch kits so I got one of each a boy and a girl of course and they're gonna hang like this then next I had to get one of these oh my god so it is a cutie cuties are the mini cabbage patch kids that are little and they're often themed now they have um, ones that have unicorns and they have um, exotic pets like um, I have a frog I'll actually show you my collection of cuties I do have a collection of cuties I haven't shown yet but this is a cute cutie because she's pretending to be a bunny bee which I'm in love with and the cuties always come smelling like powder uh, like a baby that's what i love about the cuties and she's so cute i love her and her thumb goes in her mouth and she's gonna go by my bedside i'm so excited look look at how she's trying to be like them wait i'll get the pink one you see how she's like trying to be like them too cute those were the side things that I got. Now for the grand finale. Right, guys, so the Cabbage Patch Kids that you're seeing have the vinyl faces. But when you go to the Babyland General and you want to see the birth, you have to get one that's made there. And they only make softies. The cool thing is you only have a little bit to choose from. You don't have a bunch to choose from. It really makes you feel 
like you're adopting a real baby and it's keeping it nice and intimate. It's not, it doesn't look mass produced. It really doesn't. But guys, I want you to meet JJ. Oh, guys, JJ. It was love at first sight. Now, I didn't see him right away. What they do is, you, right when you go in, and you'll see in my vlog, I know I'm teasing you guys, but I got it in my vlog. What it is, is you go in, and they put you in like this little like room that's set up like a little nursery of babies that were just born, and there is a nurse there to help you uh, choose one. So you tell them that you want to have a baby born, and you get to pick it. So they tell you which ones are boys and girls, and there are boys and girls there. It's not like you just make it a boy or make it a girl. They tell you which ones are boys and girls, which is neat. I loved that. So I wanted a boy right away. I think it's because I had a son, so I always like get boys. I don't know. But I picked the baby boy. I was going to get a bald one. And I wanted to get one with my boyfriend's color eyes. He has blue eyes, so I got one with blue eyes and blonde hair like mine. <laughs> He's perfectly blushed. No two look the same because they're all handmade. Look at the ears. So nicely done. There's little blushing behind the elbow. He's a whittle guy. Look at how big he is. Guys, he's so little. Look at his little toes and feet. Oh my god, I can't even. This is what he came in. I should have gotten clothes, but I, I was just so in awe by him. I got a couple of things and then I got him. But I can always order him a little jumpsuit. They had a bunch of jumpsuits there. I should have got the red one. His little belly button. And then let's check out his bum. His bum is in blue. Look at his little tushy. Oh, I love it. And they come, it comes with the, like the cutest little um, take home outfit, which, you know, is nice of them because you could just buy the doll nude. Everything you buy today comes nude. Look at the toes. They are perfectly blushed. It's very important to get the blushing correct. You put not enough on and it doesn't look as fun. You put too much on and it looks ridiculous. So this is a perfect blushing. And I appreciate that. And I just his little body. <laughs> He's so teeny. He's a little baby. So me and my boyfriend, we named him JJ after me and him. Jamie and Junior. His name is Junior. And I love him. I'm very happy with him. There was a couple others. Like I said, one was bald. One had little hairs over here. One was a girl with like longer hair. But this guy by far was just the one that caught my eye. And I, I think it's because of the hair. I don't know what it was, but it was love at first sight. But I love it. And it came with this blanket. And I'm not going to tell you too much about the birth because I don't want to spoil my vlog. But you guys will see it in there. And they allow you to film because they want you to. Um, they... Um, they have this tied together so it doesn't open. Isn't that nice? I just wanted to point that out. I like that. And then the head goes in here and then you wrap him. And he is by my bedside too. Um, near my nighttime stuff because he's just too cute. I just really love him. That's JJ, guys. This is what I got at the Cabbage Patch Babyland General Store. Um... Everything is totally worth it. You can get some of the stuff online. Like I said, you can get all of these online. You can't get one of these online because he was born at the place and you have to go there and get him. So if you want some of this stuff for yourself, you're going to have to drive to Georgia Cleveland or, or, Check out the links down below of the bunny bees and the cutie bunny bee if you want one for yourself. I will leave the link down below. And they had other dolls there and I think they do sell other softies on there. Just not JJ. <laughs> so if you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.